The next tip is to watch a few different videos of the card show you're attending before you go. This lets you know some of the different types of dealers that are there, but most importantly, what type of cards are at a show. Every single card show is different. Obviously going to a new city, you know that if they have any sports teams in there, you're going to see those cards there. But uh, some shows are going to be primarily vintage while others can be full of modern cards. For example, when I went to Ohio for a local card show, I'd say it's probably about 80 to 90% vintage, which is a great show for me because I love vintage and I love pre-war. So I really, really enjoyed that local show. All these dealers had amazing collections and I spent a lot of time going through there. And luckily I found a lot of golf cards that I wanted. However, if you go to a show, let's say in California, it's mostly going to be modern basketball and a lot of hype cards. That is not what I collect. So if I was going to spend money to travel to a show, I'd rather go to that local show in Ohio rather than the show in California because it really doesn't fit my PC. So if you want to travel for a card show, try to figure out if that card show fits your own personal collection. And speaking of personal collections, if you're going to a card show, make sure to try to buy a card for it. Now, obviously not every show works out. But being able to go to a show and at least finding one card in a few flips really, really helps. I don't recommend just going to a show and trying to flip every single card because at that time, it's going to feel like a job. You're just going in there trying to find a deal and sell it for more. No difference in working full time. If you have a personal collection, you're going to the show to try to find something that you actually enjoy, something that you want to keep from possibly years or upgrade down the road. 